hello good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a timeline view in odoo so we have already discussed different views in odoo so if i go to the hospital module and if i take the appointments menu so here you can see we have already defined calendar view tree view this is pivot and this is the graph view also we have defined search view so in this video we will discuss about the timeline view in odoo so you know by default there is no view called timeline in the Odoo so it is a custom module from the OCA so it, it, it we can use it as a replacement for the gun view which is available in the Odoo enterprise edition so if I go to the Odoo app store here you can see we have got a module called project timeline which already depend on another module that is called web time web timeline so here you can see in the included dependencies it is mentioned so if I go to web timeline module so you, you can see it's loading so it provides the timeline view for the Odoo. So I have already downloaded this module and installed in my database. So if I go to the project, so if I go to the project menu and if I go to the tasks, here you can see we have got a new option called timeline. This is view timeline. So if I click on here, you will get a view like this. So in this video, we will see how we can create a similar view in our hospital module using this module as a base module that is web timeline so i have already downloaded this module you can just download using this download button and you can add it to your add-ons path so if i go to the pie jump and if i take the custom add-ons path if i scroll down here you can see i have already added web timeline into my database sorry into my add-ons path so that's done and if you check the index file of this module you can get different options available like date, date start date stop date delay like that you can see the options available so i'm not going to discuss about all those options you can just go through the module and see what all features are available so i'll just go through the basic features that we have we need to make a timeline view so this is the view overall view so if i go to hospital again hospital menu and if i take the appointments here we, what we will do is that we will add a one more view called timeline view so if i take the corresponding module that is om hospital and if I go to the views folder and if I open appointment.xml file, so here we will define new view called timeline. So before that, let me open the project timeline module that which I have already downloaded from the Odo app store. And if I go to the views folder of the corresponding module, what I will do is that I'll just copy the view they have created for the task. So if I duplicate this tab, so I'll just duplicate this tab and if I go to the projects, so we have already seen the task timeline view that they have already created so this view so the code, code of this view the corresponding code of this view is this one so here you can see timeline is defined so i'll just copy this code so control c and i will paste it inside our module that is appointment.xml file so here we have defined the tree view for the appointments so after that i will paste those those code that we have copied and i'll just change the id to appointment timeline so i'll give the ideas appointment timeline model is ir.ui.view and we have to update the model name so we know the model name is hospital.appointment so instead of model as project.task i'll give hospital.appointment we have given our model name you have to give the type as timeline and inside the field name arch type xml you have to define those records so date start so in the timeline if you check the timeline view of the task here you can see it's starting on this date and ending on this date so we need a start date and end date so for this purpose we have we have we already have got a if i open the form view of the appointment we already got a date field i just add a one more date field that is date 2 so for this purpose so if i activate the developer mode so i'll just click on this debug mode extension that i have installed for activating the debug mode easily and if I click on edit button here you can see we have got two date fields this is appointment date that is already we have added in the earlier video and for making this video I have just added an another field called appointment date underscore end which is also a date field so if I take the corresponding model if I go to the models folder so if I go to one um, hospital module here it we have and if I go to the models folder and if I take the appointment of py here you can see we have got two date fields appointment underscore date and appointment underscore date end i'll just update the string i'll just update the string as 
end date so we have got two date fields that is one is starting date and another one is ending date so i'll just copy the starting date from here and i will paste it inside date start so i, I am specifying date start is this field and date stop you have to specify on which field based on the date end so i'll just copy this and i will paste it here and in the default group by option you have to specify on based on which field you have to group those records so if i go to the task timeline view here you can see it is group based on the project here you can see in this project office design we have got different records so in our case i'll just group the records based on the field doctor id so i'll just add the field as doctor id and there is a spelling mistake i'll fix it and if i come to the appointments view here you can see we have got a field called doctor doctor underscore id so i'll just say doctor here and i will save here so i'm grouping based on the field doctor and the technical name of the field is doctor underscore id so i have in the default group by i have specified doctor id and even open pop-up is given as true and if you want to know the usage of event pop-up if you check this index file here you can see event pop-up when set to true it allows to edit the event pop-up like that you can just go through all the available options here so i just set event open pop-up equal to true and this is for giving colors to the records like you can see if user id equal to false this is what we have copied i'll just remove the colors right now we will start from a basic option so i'll just remove the colors right now and inside this we have to specify those fields i'll specify patient id and we are have to specify notes or name so these are the fields that we are going to use inside this template so i have just defined it here and inside the template we have to show so there is a div i'll just arrange the view accordingly and after that we will explain the things so i'll just remove it record or display name is given like that and here we can show here we can show what the notes notes so i'll give like this so i have just added a template here and inside the t is given name is given inside this div the name of the display name of the appointment is displayed and also the notes so i'll just explain it but little more better after updating the module so we have just created a view here that is timeline view and now we have to specify this view inside the corresponding action so if we directly we upload uh, update this module you won't get this menu so you have to specify this view inside the corresponding menu action so this is the menu action that get executed on clicking the menu called appointments so what we will do is that after graph view i'll put a comma and add timeline so that's done so just we have to update the module to see the change so i'll go to the ui and so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu we have to update the module to see the changes so i'll just click on upgrade button so yet if you haven't got this module you can just directly download it from the audio app store or from the github repository so some people have mailed us in the last week asking the for same module so we have directed them to the app store or from the or to get it from the github so you can just go to the github and search for audio so that you can get this module or you can just go to the audio app store and search for om hospital or audio development tutorials and just download the module to get all the development codes so you can see in the screen the module has got upgraded successfully and there is no any issues so now i will go to the hospital menu and then to the appointments so if i go to the appointments here you can see a view has been got added that is timeline view so i'll just click on there and you can see you have got successfully you have got the view and there is no errors i actually i was expecting some errors but we didn't receive any errors so everything is fine we can just change the view like year month just we can filter the records by day suppose if you need to see only the records of today here it will be like, do like that and if you we need to get the records of this week you can get it like this and if you need to get all the records of this month you will get it like this and if you need to get all the records of 2020 you can just click on here so here you can see we have got one record in the x axis that is james so from the another tab where we have open the task i will go to the appointments again and i will create few more appointments for another doctor so i'll just go to the open the form view and let's create some more appointments for another patient like james and i'll assign the doctor as matthews 
date I'll set as 31st December 31st and end of January actually that appointments won't take this much too long but this is just for illustrating the example so if I reload the view again you can see this is getting long because it starts from if you check this here you can see it starts from January 1st and extend up to 15th and if you click on here it will open the corresponding record so like this you will get the view so I'll add some more records in the appointments so I'll just click on action button and duplicate this record and I'll change the patient to or to ABCD and as well as I'll change the Dr. James. So let's create a few more records to see the changes in the view. Matthew Zach date from January 10 to January 15th. Let it be like that. Okay, I'll just save it. And if I reload the appointments timeline view, here you can see you are able to see those records in the timeline. So one looking at the timeline itself, you can see this appointment is on 10th of January and another you can see another appointment is starting on January 10th. Here you can see this appointment starts on December 31 and it end, ends on if you check here you can see it's end on December January 15th. So this is how you can create a timeline view in Odoo. And here you can see if you need to filter today's records, you can get it easily by clicking here. Their filter is available week, month, year and available. And if you need to color those records based on something you can see right now, all those records is getting same color. So if you need to get give colors for the records based on some condition, so I'll just copy the code that I have already deleted. So if I take the project timeline and if I go to the project task view, so here we have got something like this. So I'll just copy this. Control C colors and I will put it inside the appointment file where we have defined the timeline view for the appointments. So I'll just add it here and I'll just adjust the indentations. So if doctor ID or I'll just add it based on the state, state equal to if state equal to like here we can we have already given for the color view, color for the tree view. So I'll just copy those statements and put it here. So if the state is draft, we have to show this color. And if the state is done, if state equal to done, we have got done state. So if the state is done, it will show another color. So let's upgrade the module and see what happens. So what I have done is I have just added colors. So in the draft state, it will show this color. And in the done state, it will show another color. So let's upgrade the module to see change so you can see in the currently in the screen you can see for all those records it's same color so before change, making changes I'll just mark one of the appointments as done so right now all is done all is draft state so I'll just move one to the confirm and it will move to the done state so right now one record is in done state here you can see in the tree view it's green color but if we go to the timeline view all those records are in same color so which was that record in the green color I will just switch to time uh, in the tree view. You can see HP 0028. HP 00, HP 028. So if you check HP 0828, here, here you can see it's on same color as of all the records. Now we have given colors in the timeline view. So we will just upgrade the module and see what happens. So yet if you haven't subscribed the channel, you can just click the subscribe button and like the video if you feel the video was helpful. Also, you can just offer the channel to your friends and ask them to subscribe also so let's wait until the loading has been completed so it's still loading so let's check the log and see what happens so I'll just open here you can see it's loading so let's wait until the loading has been completed so you can see the module has been upgraded so I'll go to the hospital and then to the appointments and if I switch to the up timeline view here you can see the records are showing in different colors. So as the HP appointment HP08 is already completed, it's showing in red color. Now I'll just do I'll just mark HP029 as completed. So I'll go to the appointments and I'll switch to tree view. Where is HP029? Yes, it's here. I'll just click on confirm button and I'll click on done button and move it to the done state. Now if we come back to the timeline view, 
HP 029 will also be green color. You can see it has also changed its color. So that's all about how you can create a timeline view in Odoo version 12. So you can use this as a replacement for the gun replacement for the gun view in which was only available in the enterprise edition. So the gun view is not available in community edition. So in community edition as a replacement for the gun view, you can use utilize this timeline view so this is provided by the OCA you can see the module is web timeline you can just download it from the Odo app store and use it as a base module for the development and you can you have to give this module as dependent module for the your module so I'll just copy its technical name and I have already forget so I'll take my module and you have to add it as a dependent module so I'll go to the manifest file and in the manifest file you have to add it as a dependent module so I'll just after board I'll just add it add web timeline as a dependent module so using this web timeline as a base module you can develop as much as timeline view you need so what you have to do is that you have to add the corresponding xml file you have to define a timeline view like this so if you have understood how to define this and if you have any queries you can just comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and if you have any development queries you can ask us over the social medias and if i what we have added uh, this timeline view and we have specified this in the corresponding menu action so in the front end you can see it like this so that's all about this video if you like video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos so thank you